Hey, Budget Bestie, Sam here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all things budgeting, planning, saving money, and my family's journey to financial freedom. I have been wanting to film this for like the last 10 days now. I was trying to be like, let's pre-plan and pre-record videos because it's still busy season for me at work. And I was thinking this is the only way I'm gonna be able to stay on top of filming, but no, I just, I swear I worked 70 hours this last like week. It's been, anywho, y'all don't want to hear about how we have no employees because we have no applications to pull from because no one wants to work in my area because I am well aware that y'all are going through the same thing as well. Normally, I would get comments from people like at least in the last like couple months with all the overtime I've been working. Girl, that's great. That's a lot of overtime, you know, extra money. Y'all, when I tell you I just got paid yesterday, I had so much overtime. The government literally took 700 seven hundred dollars for my paycheck in taxes who is that doing any good to because it sure as hell ain't doing me any good i'm getting home at seven o'clock at night getting to work sometimes at 6 30 in the morning for what just to, here you go uncle sam you can have that i don't need it anywho i've been waiting for my uh november monthly clip kit Woo! monthly kit to come in the mail for just over two weeks now and it wasn't until after i ordered it where i got an email that said their current processing time is two to three weeks here's me thinking i was on top of my game because i ordered my stickers for the next two months two weeks earlier than i normally would today's the fourth and i just got it so I lied. Today's the 5th, Saturday the 5th. So anyways, that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to be setting up my monthly layout, going over my paycheck budget for these next two weeks and then doing some cash stuffing. Depending on how long this video is, I'm also thinking of doing a um, consolidation of some of my envelopes that I haven't really been using. And I don't know, we'll see. This is the third time I've uh, heat up this Heat, heat up. Wow, is there a past tense word for heat? I heat it up. Y'all, I'm not even gonna try because it's not an insulated one, but she's cute, so yes, that's where we are. Anyways, if this is something you're interested in seeing, then keep on watching. All right guys, so if you don't already know, I do all of my pre-planning on my tablet. I have the PDF form of my paycheck budget, breakdown, overview, all that fun stuff here on my tablet. It's like the plan before I lay it down on sticker. So I have planned out my month of November and I'm going to use these long awaited for stickers from Kimmy Studios. She had a sale going on so I grabbed my November and my December monthly kit from her. Oh, November is a little darker than what it looks like on Etsy. So, what we got here? Well, I mean, it's still cute. It's just a whole lot darker than what I was expecting, but it'll have to do. All right, I'm gonna speed through this as I lay down my stickers because I'm not the best at this and we're gonna try to be here all night for this, so yeah.
Did y'all enjoy that little bit of torture? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I am so upset. I jacked up the sticker here and then I tried to hide that, but that's not quite working how I wanted it to. So that's always, you know, fun. So now I have these expense tracker stickers that I like to use to notate my bills. And these are from Sweet Bunny Blessings. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer all the bills to on here and lay them out as well. All right, guys, this is my monthly layout. Some goals that I wanna set for myself. We wanna finish up our Christmas sinking fund, which is not gonna be an issue. We'll be able to finish that up next pay period. I want to reach 1K for my home, only because I'm wanting to buy this refrigerator from my cousin. She will have it ready for me at the end of the month because her new one that she bought will be there on the 28th. So I have until the end of the month to get that. I think we have about $600 in that sinking fund and I wanna reach 1,000 so that we can get that refrigerator. This might be kind of out of the reach, but I want to at least set a goal to see if I can attain that. And that is to add 1K to my HSA account for my YouTube and Instagram. I want to post twice a week, which right now, I don't, you know, I'm not even gonna say I could do it, okay? And that's for YouTube, for IG. I want to post daily because I have not posted in two and a half weeks on Instagram, which is like really, really bad. But that's pretty much it for that. My biggest bill due this month is going to be $350. This is for, for my hospital bill. And that is that. And now let's get to our budget. All right guys, so now that we have all of our budget for the month laid out, I'm gonna go ahead and do my paycheck budget. And this is gonna be from the 6th through the 19th. So I'm gonna have on here a uh, screen recording so you guys can follow along. I just like to have it. My paycheck budget, I like to have on my tablet because it is constantly changing guys. When I tell you it will change probably five times between me planning for it and then actually setting it down in stone so that's why i like to have it on here because i can erase and change and especially with my sinking funds when we're spending throughout the pay period and pulling from my sinking funds i like to plan what i will be stuffing in each sinking fund based off of what i've spent in the previous week so for example we used our costco sinking fund pretty much emptied it out and i haven't been stuffing anything into that envelope the last month because we already got what we needed for that sinking fund and don't plan on stuffing any more into it until we've spent that so because we went shopping at costco this last weekend i knew that i'm going to be budgeting a specific amount to go into that sinking fund so that's what i mean by if i didn't spend any Anything the previous two weeks I'm not planning on stuffing anything into it so I hope that makes sense so for these two weeks the budget that I will be working with is two thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars right, that's atrocious handwriting two thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars for my mortgage, we're budgeting $465, $220 for my truck. If you're new to my channel, I break down our bigger dollar amount bills so that we paid every two weeks. It's much more attainable for us. Makes it so that it's not such a stretch for certain pay periods where there's bigger bills due. This way has been working for us for the last two years and I don't plan on ever going back so next is our HOA that is $75 our water is 104 gas is 45 our oops our internet is $100 our power 
thank goodness came back down a little bit 145 my annual gym membership um dues are up that's for planet fitness and that's 40 dollars. canva is getting 13 dollars. apple one is 33 and then for school lunches we make school lunches for our kids but my daughter does like to have lunch at school as well so they get breakfast and lunch once a week and they pick the day and Wednesday is the day that they get lunches at school so that's where my husband and I will put $40 into their school lunches so they can still have that and we budgeting $40 so we have $465, $220, $75, $104, $150, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000